making of egg tart. Now, if you see the variation that we have, in the morning, we devote it to all the others you see on the shelf. The egg tart itself, we actually devote almost the entire afternoon just to do the egg tart. Hi, I'm Anna. I work in Tongheng. My bosses are also my aunties. Auntie Rebecca and Auntie Constance. Tongheng specializes in Chinese pastry, Cantonese more specifically. And one of our more popular product is egg tart. Tongheng started more than eight decades ago, which is in the late 20s, which was by my great-grandfather. After that, it was passed down to his sons. But this is uh, more into just getting business running. But the one with the real passion behind is actually in the third generation, my two bosses. Whatever you see on the shelf right now, over 90% of it is handmade. We have actually tried using machine because actually egg tart is very, very laborious. But in the end, we still move back into handmade is because it needs uh, the human to feel it. Machine may be different. It actually gives a different feel, a bit more like biscuit base instead of the soft, flaky texture. Our egg tart shell is made of mainly two types of dough, the oil-based dough and the water-based dough. From there, we place it on the mold to mold the shape. We chill it, stabilize it overnight. The next day, we just add in the egg wash and we bake it. The difference between egg tarts from other brands, regardless, and ours. Well, our egg tart is dairy-free, no milk, no cream, no cheese. So when you bite on it, it's purely just the aroma of the egg. And also without the dairy, it actually makes the egg tart more wobbly. I spent a whole one and a half decade giving tuition. And towards the end of this 15 years, then I thought to myself, for all these years, my aunties, they have always wanted people from my generation to be interested in the skill, to learn the skill, and not just manage the business. In order to manage a business well, you have to actually know the skills well through the back of your hand. It wasn't easy convincing both of my bosses that the brand needs a makeover. So it took me about four to five years of work. Then finally, they kind of see it. And then I asked them, so boss, how can or not? Uh, you want a renovation, right? Can we you know, engage real professional people to really do a proper makeover? And then when they gave the nod, the green light to go, I was like, yes, the day finally came. Both of my aunties, they have been working as good partners for the past four to five decades. Without them, I don't think we have Tohang today.